Good morning, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching so far. This was a big project to put together, and I'm so happy to be able to bring all of these episodes to you. I'm really wondering if the format was good for you. If you enjoyed having the different segments broken up into topics, or would you rather it all one long tutorial that you just stop at different points? Our last set here, we're going to do the final coats and final evaluation and really take a good look at where we went really well with this project and what could be improved. Here we go. Here is the finished product and I must be some type of an absolute purist because I'll tell you I went back and I tried putting some just some really pale uh, this is Deco Art Light Buttermilk on to the white parts and you know what I didn't like the look I didn't like the look at all maybe if I had done it before I sprayed it I would have liked it but I really I was experimenting I didn't like it I sanded some painted and I didn't so it's all sprayed I think the thing is I just really like the natural look of gourds I love gourds and I love how they look and and if this is how it looks very natural and a little bit wild in places then that's what I'm gonna go with so this one is going to head out today I'm very I'm very pleased with this one it is so big this would be such a lovely thing if you were uh, collecting all your wine corks you could just toss them in there whatever you're working on this would just be a really neat gourd for that so I hope you enjoyed this project I hope whatever you put in your cartouche came out beautifully and I hope you liked the border around the back if you chose to do that and remember we can use any of these techniques and my main goal was for you to learn some technique because you can take the techniques and then do whatever you like with them so that's that's really the goal so I hope you enjoyed this please like and do subscribe so they get notifications for the next video I'll leave links below to the tools that I use some of them are very very specific over the last 15 years it's taken me that long to find tools that really do the job the most easily so that'll save you some time and some money going straight to the tool that's going to do for instance that saber tooth burr it it does it's better than anything I've used in 15 years. So thanks for tuning in and hope to see you in the next one. I, I'm trying to decide what the next video is going to be. I haven't quite decided yet. It might have to be a surprise. It might be the pants video. It might be, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Again, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series of tutorials on the Sandhill Cranes. I hope that you were able to complete a gourd and that it came out gorgeous. I'd love to hear in the comments below how was your experience and if there's anything I need to go a little bit faster on or run through a little bit slower with more description, please let me know. I would love to hear some feedback in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!